All right, everybody, I'm going to try to be quick with this one. I want to show you how you can start the beginnings of your marketing to any lead in any real estate niche. And this is going to combine some trainings I've done in the past. It's also going to let you combine some of the softwares that I use, but you don't have to. As long as you've got an email and a printer and you've got Microsoft Word, this will work. Right. So, again, this is a killer strategy that I would dare say most of you are not using right now, but you can. And you can do all of this within 30 minutes every morning that you wake up. What you're going to need is a computer, a printer, Microsoft Word, an email, and some stamps. Right now, if you want to take this up a notch and we're not going to talk about that now, you can automate your direct mail. Uh, I'll leave links below. If you want to explore getting into direct mail marketing, um, they are running a special at Mailbox Power. You don't have to have Mailbox Power for what I'm going to show you. But if you want to take this up to the next level, I'll leave that link below. I also use a company called My Plus Leads. This is the company that absolutely every morning delivers me all the leads that I want, including in most cases, contact info. Email, phone, blah, blah, blah. So um, I'll leave those links below. Do what you want with it. I could care less. Um, if you don't have access to the data, though, you're going to have to go and search for it, pull up property records, uh, but you're not going to get email addresses, right? And part of this strategy that I'm going to share with you is using email and uh, direct mail letters that you print from home. And when I show it to you, you're going to be you're going to be amazed. Now, there are two ways that you can approach a brand new lead. You can either cold call, right? Hey, my name is, I'm with, uh, I noticed that your home is, uh, I'm working with buyers. Uh, can I schedule a time on Thursday at 4 p.m.? This is the script. Or when are you open to interviewing aggressive agents to sell your home? Our company sold $50 trillion last year uh, in real, that's the scripts, right? They hear this every day. The FISBOs and expireds are hearing this. Like they're getting, it's kind of like, you know, those phone calls you as realtors get, Hey, my name is, I work with NAR. When can you take a call about your health? Like if I get another one of those, urgh, I'm going to go crazy. Well, think how you feel when you get them. Think how they feel. So what we want to do is talk about value added marketing. Now, I've talked about this book in the past and I want to share it with you again. Go to Amazon and order this book. Now, I don't think Ryan Fletcher is, I haven't seen anything new from him, so he might be out of the game, but he wrote a killer book here called Defeat Mega Agents, How to Differentiate Yourself. And one of his main principles is, why not build a value bridge before you ask for business, right? I mean, it's like, go ahead and take them on a couple dates, right? Buy some flowers. Uh, talk about you and talk about them instead of just going on a date and skipping the restaurant and going straight to the hotel, right? That's how that cold call approach. And I'm not against cold calling, but there is a differentiation. And guys, we're in 2022 going into 2023 and things are shifting. So you have to think ahead of the game. So without further ado, let's get into this. And again, this works for any major real estate niche. FISBOs, expireds, canceled, withdrawn, absentee homeowners, pre-foreclosure short sales, uh, probate, uh, divorce leads. I don't care what the lead is. This strategy will work w for that lead. So the first thing that I do, and let me bring up my screen, is I use My Plus Leads. So I log into My Plus Leads in the morning, and there I've got two FISBOs. I've got nine expireds today, right? Yesterday, I had two FISBOs and 11 expireds and three pre-foreclosures. So just in the last two days, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Plus nine, guys, we're in the mid to high 20s in two days of real estate listing leads. That's amazing. And in most cases, I'm going to get contact information, right? So once I grab the uh, the leads that I want to work with today, in this case, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and click the very first one. And I'm going to look at this. And this is a $458,000 home. It's, it's a for sale by owner. I've got all their contact information. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Zillow, which I did already. And I'm going to right click and save or copy the image, right? So now that I've copied the image, what am I going to do next? Well, I'm going to go to Canva and I'm going to come over here, create design, and I'm going to hit custom. I'm going to go ahead and do a six inch wide by four inch high. I'm going to create a new design and it's going to take me here. So 
I drop the picture of that home that I right clicked and, and copied on this example. I then went over here and grabbed a text that I liked, brought it over here, changed the color, dropped her name or his name on that picture. And then on the bottom, I simply stated, would you like free color flyers and a free website for your home? Now, let me stop right there. You have to start developing uh, 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 value offerings to your client. So what I do is I use a company and I believe they still have a 30 day trial. I'll put a link for that too, called listings to leads guys, listings to leads lets me create a FISBO website in under 30 seconds. It literally will pull their information and create it. You just have to do a little bit of work. Uh, you can, you can get that site up and going for that FISBO if they request it in literally minutes. Now on that site, it creates an awesome full color flyer for their property, including his name, his email, blah, blah, blah. So just within minutes, say under, under 10 minutes, I can create a website and I can create as many flyers as he want. He wants. Now, if they, if they respond back to this, I'm going to tell him, let me go ahead and print your first 10 color flyers. I'll bring them and give them to you, show you how to use them. And then I'll show you how to use your website that I'm going to create to get leads on your local uh, Facebook groups that you're a part of or that you need to be a part of. And I'll show you how to do all of that, right? Again, I'm not asking for his listing. I am just simply bringing value. Then I went to Amazon and I bought uh, 12 info tubes. Just go to Amazon and search real estate info tubes. It's those clear plastic tubes that have the red word info tube on it. And it comes with zip ties and everything. And they, you can hand them. It cost me cost me $2 a tube. I give it to the FISBO and I say, print your, take my 10 flyers and go ahead and print more for yourself. Put them in this info tube, put it on your sign outside. And if anybody comes and grabs one of them, it'll have your information. Guys, I'm bringing you so much value, right? So at the bottom, it says, you do not have to list with me from help. So that's great. What I do from here now to really start the marketing, I'm going to hit share. I'm going to hit more, copy to clipboard. And now I'm going to copy it to clipboard. Now, while Canva is doing its magic, it's now copied it to clipboard. I then come over to my email, right? And there it is, guys. I've already done this and sent it to myself just to show you, but I dropped it here. I dropped it in the email and look what it looks like. It says, my name is Kelly Wheeler. I'm a local realtor. Please save my contact info so that you can reach out to me if you have questions or need help with something related to selling your home by owner. I am a wealth of info and can offer you some amazing free tools to help you sell your home and compete with other homes near you listed by selling agents. I promise not to ask you to list with me for my help. Consider me your secret agent. I would like to share my for sale by owner backup plan with you. If you, It will give you options if you decide to hire a realtor in the future. FYI, my variable listing commission alone will save thousands over local agent fees. Call or text me, blue skies, boom. So let's get back to the reality. I actually did all of that in under, under two minutes. I just went and got my lead from my plus leads. I went to Canva, got me a, a six by four, dropped the image, put the text in there, copied it, went to my email, put that information, dropped the text in there. And then I went back to my plus leads. I grabbed her or his, I don't know if Terry is a guy or a girl, probably, I don't know. I'm irrelevant to this conversation, but I grabbed Terry's email address and I put it in the, and I'll, I will put it in that email and I will email that to them instantly. Now, the next thing that you can do is take this, this entire email, right? Take the whole email, copy it, come over to Word document. Remember at the beginning, I said, you really need to, you know, you need a computer, you need paper, you need stamps, you need Word doc. Um, I dropped it in here. So that email is now on this Word doc. Then I'm going to come over here to file. I'm going to print. There it is. So guys, I want to show it to you real quick. I did it again. Let me go back and show you what I just did, guys, because it's very important that you see this. And I apologize. I do this all the time. So I went back and I copied this entire uh, email. I just copied it. I then went to a Word doc. And I dropped it into a Word doc and it looks like this. And I had to get the, the uh, um, content down to a 14 font because I wanted it all on one page. Once I dropped all of that email content on this Word doc, I went to file. I went to print and look at it, guys. There it is right there. And I hit print. 
So here's what it looks like. Ta-da. There it is. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a letter. I'm going to grab a stamp. I'm going to send that to Terry today. Now, what's going to happen is Terry is going to get my email today and my letter tomorrow or the next day. Now, one other thing that I'll do, now this is not something you have to do. This strategy I just showed you is something you can do immediately, right? But one of the things I can do, let me pull it up first, is I'll take this marketing to the next level, right? So once I pull this up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this particular uh, client and I'm going to put them on a long-term And let me find it because I want you guys to see this. Let's see if this is it. There we go. So I want this client to not only get my email and my letter, but I want them to get a long-term postcard drip. So guys, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven postcards. And I want to show you something. The total cost for me to send out this entire automation. So when I go ahead and take, as soon as I email Terry, I send the letter today. I'm going to go into my mailbox power and create a contact. And then I'm going to take and put Terry on this drip. So today I'm going to launch this campaign. And immediately today, mailbox power will print and send this first card. Terry will get this first card in about five to six days. So progression of events. Today, email. Tomorrow, my letter. Five days from today, the first postcard. And then every day, four days after, and then on the last five, six, and seven cards, seven days. So seven cards, one email, one letter. Seven, that's 10 touches. And these cards are all designed to let them know that I can help them, but they don't have to list. But if you decide to list, this is what I can do. Right now, I want to show you something. The total cost to send this whole automation to Terry is 68 cent plus postage. So I'm going to be into this entire direct mail campaign for under $3 for about six weeks worth of cards going out. $3, probably around $2. I'm thinking around $2.75, somewhere around there. I don't have the numbers, but it's not expensive. So can you imagine marketing to a client? that way. Now guys, this strategy will work with any niche. You do not have to have mailbox power. You don't have to have, I would highly recommend getting my plus leads because you're going to want to email them and you can't do that if you just go find them on Zillow um, and then you go to public records, right? At least with mailbox power, you've got a better than 75 to 80% shot every time a lead comes in of getting their contact email. So there you go, guys. That's the strategy to crush any niche. And it's different than what you're used to. But guys, I'm using Canva. I'm using Zillow. I'm using Gmail. And I'm using my Word doc and printing it from home to send this out. All right, guys. How about that for a strategy? I went a little longer than what I wanted. But whoo, what a great way. If you're sitting there going, look, I don't have a lot of money to spend. I want to figure this out. How do I do this? I just showed it to you. Right? This is so simple. And you don't have... it. It's, you can do the same thing for expireds, right? Immediately send them out information. You can do the same thing for pre-foreclosure, right? Get this, the more information you put in front of them, the higher the opportunity for you to convert. Now let's go one more thing. I, I wasn't gonna go here, but I, it just popped into my brain. So for those of you that um, are like, well, what about cold calling them? Okay, how about a warm call? So if I send out an email today to Terry and I send out a letter to Terry and she gets my first postcard. So in the next seven days, email, letter, and my first postcard. So then eight to 10 days from now, I pick up the phone. Hey, Terry, this is Kelly Wheeler with LPT Realty. I just wanted to find out if you received information I sent to you. I sent you an email, a letter, and a postcard with some real good information to help you as you're trying to sell your home on your own without a realtor. Did you receive that? They're either going to say yes, no, or blank off, right? More than likely, they'll say yes. And if they did, just simply ask, well, would you like some help? I'm not asking you to list with me. I would really love to help you on this journey. And I've got some valuable tools I can give you to help you. And guys, do you see that conversation is so much less pressure, right? It's more like, hey, 
I hope you sell the home on your own. I have some amazing tools. Can you give me some time to go over it? And if you want the tools, I will make sure they're in your hands by the end of the day, right? How about that for a conversation? So that's a warm call as opposed to a straight out and cold call with no value. All right, ninjas, tell me what you thought about this training. Uh, this is a little different. Uh, it, it is very similar, though, in some cases to my training, but it's a little different because it's real actionable. Like anybody can do what I just said. You don't have to break the bank to do what I just said. Go get you some stamps, man. Uh, if you don't have a printer as a realtor, you need a printer. Your homework is to go find the best deal on a printer this week. And by Monday, you better have a printer in your office, even if it's your freaking bedroom, right? <laughs> get you a printer. Um, one more ninja strategy. For those of you with these really long freaking email addresses like uh, Jabuji1231, uh, sell Seattle uh, better than anybody else at hotmail.com or at Gmail, get that freaking thing out of here. Go get you an email that is something you don't have to tell them how to spell it, right? Yeah, that's Jabuti, J A B O T T Y uh, A T S E A T. If you have to do that, you're done. Go find out how you can get a very small email thread and use that. I don't know why I went there, but I did. Uh, I, I, a lot of you agents are getting on my calendar talking about LPT Realty. And some of your email chains are like this big. Like I, I have to copy paste them because I don't spell very well and I'm going to butcher it and it's going to come back undelivered. <laughs> Tip, get yourself an email address that resonates with your local market and it's easy for them to see. And it's really branded to you. All right. That's all I'm going to say. Have a great day. Drop comments. Tell me what you thought about this training. If you haven't, go hit that dang subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with this awesome content. All right, ninjas, until I see you on the next video, go get you some closings.